gang what's up squad if you're in here welcome to the family hey how you doing if you've been here welcome back don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that post notification bell so y'all be notified every time i upload i was just sitting here and i don't know i don't know god placed it on my heart to just talk about something and i think it's because i'm currently going through it and I just wanted to say, even to the mothers or to the men, their fathers, or people who ain't even mothers and fathers, um, people who just, you know, get caught up with life and work and even school, anything, um, I just want to say, stop what you're doing and take the time out and find yourself again, because I'm so caught up in being a mother and a wife, a daughter, a friend, a sister, where I don't even put myself first anymore like you know um growing up I love reading I love writing those type of things make me happy but becoming a mother and you know having a relationship you tend to put the things that you like to do by the wayside because you're so focused on what you're doing um uh, with your family and stuff and so the past like week and a half I've been trying to do a little bit of things that I enjoy doing just to make myself feel happy because when you pour into others and you get so empty pouring into others you don't have anything to pour into yourself that's not good and then I can't be the best me for my kids and my husband if I'm not the best version of myself because I'm so drained you know so I recently started reading again I started writing in my journal even if it's just like goals or things that I want to get done this week it feels good to actually do something that I like to do not just focused on the kids or my husband so I want to say take the time out um to do something that you enjoy doing it even if it's like coloring or writing or just going for walks you know do the things that make you happy because you can love other people you can love whatever but if you don't have love to give yourself and you know it, it's, it's not gonna work you can't love somebody else if you're not the better the best version of yourself that you can be so take the time out and don't let others make you feel bad if you like oh if you got a routine or somebody is so used to you doing something for them in your family or anything in your at your job anything tell them no it's okay to say no i'm drained i'm tired i just want to take a day for myself to do some things that i like to do go ahead and do that that's okay don't let nobody make you feel bad don't make nobody make you feel bad for being tired or needing a break or just anything you gotta put yourself first or Everybody else is going to keep on being used to you doing what they need you to do. It's time that you put yourself first. Do some things that you like to do. And let your hair down. Whatever it may be, do it for the sake of your own sanity. And trust me, once you do something that you like doing or that you used to do and that you couldn't do it no more because, you know, you're so busy, it's going to feel good. It felt so good reading a book, listening to a book. And I'm like, dang, I forget how much I love reading. When I once I did it again, it was just it, it was so refreshing. Even small things like that, they make you feel good. So that's all I wanted to say. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about it. Also, it's a new year. Um I know a lot of people like to write down um affirmations or goals that they have that is something else that can help you it don't have to be like a big long-term goal or oh something that i want to accomplish in 10 years like start with today take it day by day write down goals for the week goals for the day even if it's small things like oh this week i want to try to get my kids in bed by nine o'clock or if you don't have kids I want to try to pack my lunch every day for work so I don't have to eat out and spend extra money. Small things like that help you 
accomplish bigger and greater things later on. Trust me when I tell you, I work on a schedule in my household and a routine, and it works because when there is no structure, there is chaos. And you could tell when me and my kids have something different, like, you know, out of the norm of our routine, we'll be all over the place. So do small things like write some stuff down that you want to do or write some things down that you want to get accomplished. Small steps makes progress, okay? When you're not doing anything, it becomes stagnant and you're just stuck in the same place. And when you're stuck in your life, you just feel like blah. So, yes, y'all, I just wanted to say those quick things. Put yourself first. Self-love is the best love. And if you have a partner or you have kids or, you know, you're running a facility or anything like that where people is constantly depending on you, I know you know what I'm talking about because you need some time yourself sometimes, and that's okay. I tell people all the time, mostly older people like my mom, she be like, you, what you tired from? Them your kids. If you tired now, you're going to be tired forever. And I was like, yeah, but it's okay for me to say I'm tired. Normalize. Need to break, okay? It's okay. Don't let nobody make you feel bad for being exhausted. Even if you chose to be a parent, you chose to work. You chose to be a wife, a mother, a friend, a sister, or somebody. Yeah, you chose that role, but we get tired too. Even the best get tired. We need a break. So don't let nobody make you feel bad. And I just wanted to say I love you guys. And you guys are amazing. Um, I will be uploading more for you guys. So just bear with me. I love making content and just recording. So I will be doing more of it. I know I said um, I will be more consistent. And I am. Trust me. I am. I just have a lot that I'm doing in my life so um sometimes I get super tired and overwhelmed with I have like I said I got three small kids and a husband and a whole household and it's a lot but I'm working on it and then sometimes the kids be so noisy when I'm recording I just be like ain't no way I'm putting this out because they are just so loud won't be able to hear me right now I'm in my room with the door shut and, the, and my two kids keep coming here finding a reason to tell me something and no, I just want some peace and quiet, mommy time. And that's okay to shut the door until the kids go in y'all room and sit down and watch TV. Until I come out. Because you gotta just whoop out. Okay? So, yes, y'all, I love y'all. And until next time, stay blessed, stay positive, stay away from negativity. You don't need that energy this year. You don't need that energy no year, but especially this year. This year, this is the year of growth and transformation for me. Like, I am growing and I love the woman that I'm becoming and the inner peace that I'm finding. Even if it's small things, like, I notice a change. Even if nobody else noticed it, I notice it. And it feels good. It feels great. Life has been truly amazing. Even days that I'm overwhelmed with my kids, I... Uh, my life is going good, and I just want to thank God for that because it could be worse. It's people out here who don't have family, who don't have a roof to uh, live in. You know, just small things that I, I appreciate that I used to take for granted sometimes. But sometimes you have to sit, sit and reflect and be like, okay, God definitely has come through because there's times where I couldn't even think straight because I didn't know where... I was going to be at in the next hour because I was just so stressed and depressed. But I thank God that I'm not in that position in my life anymore. I feel great. I wake up. My kids are healthy. They're happy. They're great kids. My husband is amazing. God is definitely moving in our life. And I appreciate it. And I just wanted to tell you guys, it's okay to be tired. Put yourself first sometimes and just love on yourself. However that is, if that's just running you a bath water, bath some bath water, and just sitting in the bathtub reading, listening to music, lighting a candle, anything. Do something today. 
that makes you happy. Be a little selfish today. It's okay. But this time, I'm really out. Until next time, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.